Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Now everybody seems to be talking about Siri, the new voice recognizing assistant only available on the iPhone 4S. But did you know that you can talk to your Mac as well? Matter of fact, you could have done this for years using speakable items. So to turn on speakable items, go in your system preferences to speech. And then here you've got speech recognition and text to speech. Turn speakable items to on and you'll get a couple of extra things in your desktop. One is this little round window here and another is this set of speech commands. If you don't see the set of speech commands you can click here and you can open or close it right there. Now if you look in this window you can see the list of commands that you can speak and your Mac will hear. Now it's not like Siri where it's trying to interpret what you say. You have to say exactly this. So it's important to look at this list and find out what the command you want is. For instance I want to open Safari. Now to do this I can see here the escape key needs to be pressed. I'm going to hold the escape key down and speak what I want into my Mac's microphone. Switch to Safari. And you can see it's done it. It opened up Safari. So to configure how speakable items speech recognition works go to the settings area here. Here you can choose the microphone you're using and even calibrate the microphone by saying several things to it. Uh, you can also choose how it listens to you. So you can have it when a key is pressed and change that key or you can change it to actually listen for a specific word. So it's always listening. You say that word then your command and then it will listen to what you have to say. You can also have an acknowledgement, so a little sound that plays every time that it acknowledges something you're saying. Switch to Safari. Switching to Safari. Out. Now you can also change what commands are available by simply going to Commands and then checking off all the sets that you want included. And you can look here on the list to see what you get, like menu bar, you get these commands here just to activate those menu bars. For the front window you get these commands. Some of these are very specific to speakable items. Uh, things like tell me a joke, well, what day is it. Uh, you can also configure these. So for instance global speakable items I can configure it to allow some variation in what I say. So I can say what is the time or tell me the time and it will activate that same item. Under address book I can actually go in here and change the checkboxes here so some of these uh, some of the names may not be included. So if there's names that are similar and it's always mistaking it you can kind of uh, mess with those settings to get better results. Now in many ways Series is much more advanced than this. It's calling back to the server and trying to interpret what it is that you want and following along with a conversation. Now you can't do that with speakable items here but you can actually define your own actions. Something you can't do with Siri. So here under commands I can click open the speakable items folder and it opens the folder on my hard drive that has all these items in it. There are actually files in here with the names of the things that you want to speak. The cool thing is you could add your own items here. Now it can be as difficult as creating something in Automator, a script that does something or it can be something as easy as just having a web shortcut. So for instance I want it to tell me my local weather kind of like Siri does. But I wanted to do it from this website here. So here's my local weather for Denver. I'm going to drag this URL into the speakable items folder. I'm going to close that Safari window now. And here I've got a web shortcut uh, that you might have like on your desktop and you can double click on and, and go to that web page. I'm going to rename it uh, to what's the weather like today. And that's what it's called there just as a file. Now I can go to speakable items and I can speak that and it should activate that file and take me to that web page. What's the weather like today? What's the weather like today? Now the other side to speech recognition is text to speech and this is where you can get your Mac to speak to you. You can choose a voice here and that voice will also be used on the other side. We heard a male voice before. I'll choose Victoria here which sounds sort of like Siri and then I can select speak select a text uh, when option escape is pressed and there's a bunch of other options here for announcing alerts, speaking those out loud, uh, having clock time announce, things like that, even the speaking rate. So for instance now that I have this turned on I'll go back to Safari here and I can highlight the forecast and option escape will read it to me. Mostly sunny. Highs in the mid to upper 70s. And there you go.
there's a really quick look at speech recognition on the Mac. There's a lot you can do with it, a lot of ways you can customize it. So take a look, play around, and I hope you find it useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.